Hello everyone, I'm Dhruv Advani, All India Rank 5 in E2023 and a student of Ames Delhi. I'm here today to talk about 10 common mistakes to avoid in NEET UG 2024 and how to optimize your preparation to prevent these from happening. So I'll start off with the most common mistake that I see in uh, that people make uh, in preparing for NEET and that's going to be inadequate planning. It is very, very important to plan out your, in not maybe not your entire preparation journey, but you need to plan out the segments of your preparation journey properly to ensure that you're accomplishing everything that needs to be done. You're learning whatever you need to learn, you're practicing as much as you possibly can. Because otherwise, it's very easy to miss out on things. It's an it's a vast syllabus. It's things are tough. Things sometimes are like there's a lot of things to do. So it's very easy to miss out on some things. It's very easy to not realize that you've not done those things. So it's important to plan things out properly. Um, in your initial learning phase, when you're being taught the content for the first time, uh, that time you need to ensure that time you don't need to do that much planning. You just need to ensure that whatever is being done in class, you're revising it at least once before your exam. There should be nothing that is skipped because it's very easy for backlogs to pile up. But the more you like allow those backlogs to pile up, they will keep getting bigger and bigger. And then it will become a very, very difficult task to finish them near the end. So it's better that you finish everything as it's done and even if you're not doing it on the very day or in that week, try to finish it before that exam. It needs, it's a very important thing. You also need to make sure your plan is well thought out. It works for you. You need to have like, for me, what worked was task-based planning, where I would make sure these chapters were done in that amount of time. I ensured that I had time for leisure, for breaks. I gave myself relaxation time when I needed it. All of that is very, very important uh, so that you don't get overwhelmed or exhausted. Another very common error is ignoring the NCRT. Now, this is a very fatal error. This is not something that anyone should ever do because people will, let's say, focus on the things being taught in their uh, school or in their coaching classes, or they'll focus only on solving questions, which, while very important, needs to be supplemented by reading the NCRT, especially for biology and chemistry. You need to ensure that you know each and every single line of NCRT because each line is a potential question. Even for physics, people neglect physics NCRT a lot. I've seen that very commonly in favor of numericals. But physics NCRT is also very, very important because there are theory questions that will come from your uh, directly from your text. And now that uh, the NEET exam is introducing more assertion reason questions, more of like text based questions, it is important that you know every part of the text so that you're able to analyze the question and solve it correctly. Next is going to be memorization without understanding. Now, this is very tempting for a lot of people. If there's a concept you don't understand or there's something you don't, uh, you're not able to do, ek bar rat liya or for exam likya gai ho gaya. But that will not work out in the NEET exam because memorization, first of all, if you do not understand the concept is very short term. It will, it's very volatile. You, It's not possible for you to revise or memorize everything again just before the exam. Plus, these questions are not direct questions always. There are questions that are a little bit twisted that need to be thought of and you need to understand the concept properly for you to be able to solve them. And when we come to physics especially, it's very common for people to just memorize the formula and apply whatever you can. Whatever formula you're able to remember, wo dal diya us question me. But that is a very bad strategy. You need to make sure your concepts are clear. So that's the only way you can do physics correctly and you'll enjoy the process also because when you understand what you're actually doing, instead of memorizing and then just applying ki, achha, ye formula yaad hai, ye quantities di hui hai, dal do. That is not effective. You will not get the thing, you will not get the marks you want to get out of that. Next one is going to be neglecting your weak areas. Now, I was victim to this myself in the start of 11. But essentially what happens is when we see some things that we don't understand, we panic a little bit. And it's very easy to just neglect that thing. Ki, okay, ye baad mein kar lunga. Yes, I know this. I'm understanding this properly. So I'll do this very well now. And then you keep leaving that. You keep procrastinating on doing that until you just never have the chance to. And it's that's not something that you can do for an exam like NEET exam where every single uh, chapter is important, every subject is important. Don't neglect your weak areas. Instead, give them more time because the areas are already strong in. There's, it's ineffective to give them more time and prepare in those areas. 
what you should do is in your weak areas make sure you're spending time you're solving questions if you don't understand you're asking your teachers or whoever is allowed around to help you utilizing the resources you have but make sure that your weak areas also become a strength for you by the time neat exam rolls around another very common error is going to be lack of practice and this like my most commonly given tip for neat preparation is practice write as many exams as you can write as many questions as you can do timed practice because you're just reading the theory this is the converse of the second error but it's equally as important because if you don't know the pattern of the questions if you don't think in a manner in a question based manner there's it's very difficult for you to solve the uh, neat exam in the three hours that you're given because it's a long exam you do not have the time to like go through the entire concept in your mind and then think about it every time you're faced with a question you should solve all the models of questions so that you're able to anticipate what the question is asking as soon as you see it so practice is very very important not just in physics also in chemistry and biology in fact for me personally i had practiced biology so much that by the end i was able to solve the entire bio section in 15 minutes and that was because I already knew the question. I look at the question and I knew the answer instantly because I'd already solved those types of questions before. So it's very, very important to solve these, uh, to do practice properly as many times as you possibly can. Another important mistake that people make is neglecting their health. Now, it seems very easy to get completely engrossed in preparation. You don't give any time to yourself. You stop caring about your physical health, your mental health and think, two years ki hi baat hai, baad mein kar lunga. But that is not a good thing life gets more stressful plus your body will give out it's so much work you never know when your body will give out honestly so you need to ensure that you're prioritizing your sleep you're getting enough exercise in you're moving your body at least a little bit make sure your diet is proper so you need to ensure that your health is also proper because after NEET, if you think about it in the long run, NEET is one exam. After that, you have a lot in front of you. You have medical college, you have so much more that you're going to do. And if you don't start prioritizing your health now, you will never get around to it. And that's only harming you forever. Next important error is going to be not seeking help. And this is very important. The, a lot of us are very embarrassed about if we don't understand things or it gets very difficult to ask people for help. But it's in, incredibly essential to do so because if you get your doubts cleared when they arise, then you won't have issues when you're uh, later on, when you actually need to know the concept. So make sure you're asking for help. Ask whether it's your teachers, it's peers who understand the concept and make sure you're performing collaborative learning because it's not possible for you to learn everything alone from one textbook what is important is you talk to other people you talk to your teachers you ask them any doubts that you have you ask them for help if you're not understanding something you ask your friends you study maybe not study together but you guys ask each other to teach each other concepts and all and that will also solidify the concepts in your mind plus asking help is obviously a very very important thing to do then another important error is going to be ignoring the exam pattern now this is very, very important because again, you might be the most intelligent person in the world, but at the end of the day, this is a three hour exam with 180 questions you have to solve, 200 questions you have to go through. So it's very, very important that you know the pattern of the exam. You know what manner you're going to attempt it in. For me, I used to do biology, chemistry, physics, but that's what worked for me. There are people who used to do physics, chemistry, biology. Whatever works for you, you need to find that out from before and have that set in place for the exam day so that that is not something you waste time on. How you're going to bubble the OMR, how you're going to, uh, like, let's say, how much time you're going to spend on each section, whether you're bubbling the OMR simultaneously or at the end of the section or at the end of the paper, whether or not you're checking your answers, all of that needs to be set in time before. And that will help you avoid the next error, which is panicking. Panicking is important. Uh, I mean, you shouldn't panic. That is very important. Because first of all, during your preparation journey, it's an overwhelming journey. There's a lot to do, a lot of things to learn. But if you take it one step at a time and understand that you're doing the best you can, this is not a one, just like anything in medicine or in biology, this is not an instantaneous thing. This is not something that can be completed in one day. You need to give yourself time to understand the concept. You need to spend time and it will take a long time. It is not going to be a one day thing, but you cannot panic because if you do, your preparation tanks from there.
the second you start panicking and start thinking i can't do this that's when it becomes incredibly difficult for you to do uh, to accomplish anything so what is important is if you do get overwhelmed talk to people find a stress reliever and take breaks very very important plus another thing that i would recommend is um when you are preparing right you need to make sure that you are not doing too much and that is actually the last error so a lot of people in their panic or for whatever reason start preparing for let's say je advanced questions when you are planning on writing only neat and while it's interesting and all it's not necessary and it's in fact going to harm your preparation because those kinds of questions require a different kind of thinking they require a different time management principle and everything so you need to ensure that you're using your relevant resources you are not going too far into uh, like too deep into other textbooks or other types of questions or anything solve questions that are meant for neat solve questions that are based on ncert those are the important ones don't waste your time doing other things and uh, i'd like to come back to panicking and say on the exam day it is a very there's a very high chance you will panic but you need to know how to deal with that and the best way to do that is by writing as many mock exams as possible everyone panics during the exam it's very normal but you need to ensure that that panic does not impede your performance you are able to continue writing the exam you need to give your best so write as many mock exams as you can try your best not to overwhelm yourself do things at a good pace that you are able to sustain do not it need not be a herculean effort that lasts for one week and then you are completely exhausted it needs to be something that you can do that you are able to that you are comfortable with doing you feel satisfied you are not overwhelmed or anything and during the exam day make sure that you've uh, you don't get overwhelmed everyone is in the same situation and it's not the end of the world it is one exam that can always be given again just calm down if you calm down that's the best way to do well thank you